ACL ganglion cyst and meniscal cyst. In and around the knee joint, you may find several types of cysts. One of them is the ganglion cyst of the ACL. The other type is called meniscal cyst. And the meniscal cysts are two types. One type is a true meniscal cyst. Then there is another type called Baker cyst, which is a little bit further from the meniscus. The first one we're talking about is going to be the ganglion cyst of the cruciate ligament. These ganglion cysts of the cruciate ligaments are rare. The ACL ganglion cyst is identical to the ganglion cyst seen everywhere, and it may result from mucoid degeneration of the ACL. The ganglion involving the cruciate ligament can cause pain in the knee and may interfere with knee motion. Patient does not have any stability. The symptoms are usually poorly localized, and the differential diagnosis of this entity should be a torn medial meniscus. The patient may have symptoms of catching, but not locking. So what do you see in the ganglia that involves the cruciate ligament? What do you see in the MRI? The MRI will show a cystic structure within the anterior cruciate ligament. You will see a fluid-filled lesion with an increased signal in T2. Treatment usually conservative, and if that fails, then arthroscopic debridement of the cyst can be done. Differential diagnosis, torn medial meniscus. We will check medial joint line tenderness and McMurray test and check the MRI findings. Another differential diagnosis is a Baker cyst. Usually it is posteromedial and it is present between the medial head of the gastrocnemius and semimembranosus. How about the meniscal cyst? The meniscal cyst usually occurs in the middle third of the lateral meniscus, and it occurs due to meniscal tear. The meniscus will have a tear, and a small amount of fluid within the meniscus, and that fluid will go through the meniscus and will make a cyst next to the meniscus usually seen in horizontal tear or horizontal cleavage tear. And if the tear communicate with the joint, you can do arthroscopic partial meniscectomy and cyst decompression. If the tear does not communicate with the joint, then you do the arthroscopy and you may want to do an open procedure for the cyst. Baker cyst. The fluid is getting excluded outside the meniscus and make a cyst usually behind the knee. The Baker cyst is sometimes called popliteal cyst. It is a benign swelling that is found behind the knee. And the cyst is usually connected to the knee joint through a valvular opening. The Baker cyst is filled with fluid that's coming from inside the joint, usually due to intraarticular pathology inside the joint that causes filling of the joint with fluid and pouring of the fluid into the cyst. The fluid will go through the valve to the cyst in one direction. If a patient presents with a Baker cyst, you got to think about problems inside the knee that causes that Baker cyst. It is usually at or below the joint level. The patient complains of pain, fondness, and tenderness. It is easier to see the cyst when the knee is extended. MRI will show the cyst and also will show the associated intraarticular pathology. 
The intraarticular pathology is usually either knee arthritis or meniscal tear, especially the posterior horn of the medial meniscus. If the cyst is present in atypical location, then rule out a tumor or another differential diagnosis. The cyst does illuminate. It is not a solid tumor. It is a fluid-filled sac. The treatment is ice, anti-inflammatory medication, some therapy. You may aspirate the cyst, and you may want to excise the cyst. Recurrence of the cyst is common if the intraarticular pathology continue. The best treatment for Baker cyst is arthroscopy and debridement of the intraarticular pathology. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.